Hello, beautiful heart and souls. Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tune Into Love. Thank you all for joining me for another pick a card reading. This pick a card came through as abundant love. What abundant love is in store for you? Any messages from your own heart and soul for abundant love pouring into your reality, your life, your heart, or whatever it is that's going on? <laughs> so we have four different groups to choose from one two three and four so just take a moment to tune into your intuition always trust your intuition whichever group or image calls to your heart the strongest is usually the message for you of course only take that which resonates with you and leave the rest to love <laughs> i will um Put timestamps in the comments below. Thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the videos. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So let's just get into the reading. <clears throat> we'll start here. Group number one. Hello, group number one. How are all of you? beautiful heart and souls you've chosen this beautiful flower here it's gorgeous there's a um face in the middle and if you can see in the sacred nature reflection here it almost looks to me like a little a little lion face or something <laughs> so sweet so let's see what your abundant love let's see what's in store Let's start with the poem here. Open, rejoice more. I hear your voice, I rejoice. For I know, opening my eyes, there is more to see, more to learn. I am ready to stand in love for all. Open, rejoice more. So you are definitely ready for this abundant love pouring into your life. We have the six of wands, strength, my goodness. Shower of abundance from the angels, I love it. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. You have so many angels and guides surrounding you right now, supporting you and whatever it is that truly allows you to feel successful, confident in your life. Um, I see a lot of abundance in terms of not just love, but of course, everything is love that's flowing into your life. And that includes finances, money, security, victory, stability, success, um, as well as really feeling your um, refined self, your refined qualities when it comes to compassion, integrity, really being able to maintain your inner strength through whatever is happening in your life. Power of joy, really tuning into the power of your joy, feeling your joy, what your joy is. You are really, really aligning with your truth, your joy, your life, everything that you want and opening your heart, rejoicing, like feeling the power of like the rejoicing that comes with something that's truly aligned with you. It's really beautiful. I see a lot of success and victory here with any sort of inspired ideas that you've had really beginning to gain momentum, right? Movement in that. And with the white horse here, I feel a lot of purity, a lot of courage that you've had to really be brave and stand in your truth and your authenticity. So you're very much supported. There's a lot of financial abundance here that is entering into your life. Okay. We have the chaser, chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. I feel like this has really helped you, um, reflect on your own life and how, you know, going after something that you really want versus just going after something. I feel like there's an energy here where you don't feel like you have to chase after what you want, that it's just flowing to you, which is really beautiful. We have Agor mastery. So you're receiving a lot of inner wisdom from your soul, your heart's guidance, and you don't need anyone else outside of you to tell you what's right for you. You've gained a lot of wisdom through your experiences, through any sort of, um, it's like through your successes and your challenges, you've been able to really see what is you, what's authentic for you, what works for you and what doesn't. And so here we also have the hostilities card from the energy Oracle. I feel like 
whatever hostile energy that you've been experiencing, it's like you're able to, it's it's like the, the deep contrast, you know, really being able to give you like physical reality experience into what your actual joy is, right? So it's like the contrast has allowed you to really see the truth and you're really being encouraged to focus on the joy, not so much the the old stuff or the old. It's like the contrast with the hostile energy versus the successful movement of love in your life. You really feel the difference. And I feel like for you, it's like the recognition that all you had to do was truly open your heart to your own authentic self and see your own, like believe in your own success, believe in your own victory. And allowing yourself to focus on what you enjoy, what you enjoy learning, what you enjoy growing into and with. And so tapping into your joy, like there's an abundant flow of joy here for you. And it's really truly rooted in your inspired ideas and inspirations, which are very victorious, like very guided, very aligned. The world wants to see the world wants to be a part of this energy. And so you, there's so much support here for you. Um, I feel like the gentleness here, the Eve, the horse, his face is so gentle and yet strong. There's a lot of strength and purity and sacredness within it. And it, these inspired ideas carry you forward. You know, you're inspiring yourself. You're inspiring others. It's very much supported by the collective. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of abundance coming for you so that you are able to maintain, you know, your success and victory and continue being an inspiration for others right here with the Agor card, what I'm picking up on is the wisdom within you. This is wisdom that you've gained through your life experience. Nobody can tell you what this wisdom is. It's not something you read in a book. This is all speaking to your own truth and your own knowing and really relying on yourself to make the right choices for yourself. You know, it's like you don't need to seek outside affirmation for what you know to be true within you. And that is definitely being encouraged and supported, you know, affirmed for you to continue that, you know, the truth within yourself, you have the wisdom within yourself to carry forward any ideas that you're given from spirit, from your soul, from your guides and your angels, and you will continue to be supported in that. So there's a lot of abundance when it comes to just the well-being of your life and knowing that as long as you are true to your inner self, your wisdom, that you will continue to be successful you know, don't allow yourself to get too focused on what other people think or how they're viewing or, you know, it's nice when people give you advice or want to help out. Take it all in in gratitude and don't take it personal. It's like taking it with a grain of salt. If something doesn't resonate with you, just, you know, recognize it as it doesn't resonate with you, not taking it personal because the wisdom inside you is always going to guide you. And you know, the six of wands strength, it's like being a leader, you know, there's a leadership quality that you now embody. And so whatever energies outside of you that are not um, understanding or haven't walked in your shoes before, so to speak, it's like, remember that because you've walked in your shoes, you understand you've been through the trial and error, the contrast, even here with the chaser card, I'm feeling there was a dynamic in the past where you felt like you had to chase after what you wanted. You felt like you had to go after like with more effort than was natural, right? So it's like that, it's like recognizing what brings up the hostile energy. And so you're releasing that, trusting your wisdom, really tuning into your strength, your compassion, your integrity. Um, it's like learning how to just really honor your own knowing and, and, be able to stand in the love that you are, knowing the abundant love is constantly flowing to you, constantly surrounding you. You're able to receive the wisdom of your soul, the wisdom of your inspired ideas when you acknowledge that. It's like you're open, you're rejoicing, you're hearing your voice. When you hear your voice, you rejoice, right? And you can hear your voice because it's that quality of our soul. It's the wisdom of our soul. So when you hear someone else speaking, it's like you can recognize, okay, this resonates with me because what they're speaking is in alignment with what I feel to be true. And so you can grow with that sort of consciousness. Whereas if you're listening to someone else speaking and it, you're not resonating, instead of being hostile about it or taking it personal, you just recognize like, okay, that's someone's perspective. And, you know, whatever awareness, it's like not allowing yourself to you know, let anything get to your head, so to speak, really trust and know that you are being showered with everything you need to move forward, especially in finances. I'm feeling that. And there's this energy here with the power of joy, 
It's like your own Buddhahood, your own, um, it's like you recognize the power of your joy comes from within yourself and the wisdom within yourself and nobody can take that away from you. You know, that wisdom can never be severed. It can, it's, it's a part of you and it's serving you moving forward. And it's taught you a lot about your own truth, speaking your own truth. Like, you know, the hostilities energy, I'm feeling it's like you can let your guard down, so to speak, because you understand that your boundaries are firmly in place. You know, when your heart is open, it's like if you envision the light of your heart and it's open and you can see as far as that light stretches, it's like whatever enters into your energy field is either dissolved. If it's negative, it's transmuted into something positive or it just kind of stays away from you. So it's not in your focus. Okay. The more you open your own heart to the wisdom that's within you, really seeing yourself successful, feeling yourself successful. Um, it all begins to flow to you and out of you and for you and every way. Okay. I just think it's so beautiful. And we have this flower. It's like a very, um, it feels very elegant and simple. And yet it's, there's so much to it, right? It's like very simple and elegant and luxurious. And yet it's a flower. It's very simple. You know, it's so attractive though. And so beautiful. It's like your natural self being able to see the beauty of yourself within and without. Um, it's very beautiful. Open, rejoice more. I hear your voice. I rejoice for I know opening my eyes. There is more to see more to learn. I am ready to stand in love for all. Okay. This is really beautiful. So this is from my new sacred nature's reflections Oracle deck. If you want to know, <laughs> it will be available soon. Um, I really feel that as long as you are truly committed to this connection, to your self mastery of wisdom, that the abundant love, it's like recognizing that you are the abundant love and it's radiating out of you as simple as just sitting still. You know, I, I, I'm feeling this energy of being really at peace with yourself. And it's in this piece that everything just clicks into place for you. Okay. A lot of success. So I truly hope you all enjoyed this message. I hope it affirmed what you know to be true. Always take what resonates, leave the rest. And I'm just so grateful to share these messages with you. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, you guys, for liking, sharing, commenting on the videos. I appreciate you all for your support and the growth of my channel. And, um, I look forward to the next message that comes through. Okay. I'm so honored to share these messages and I feel complete with that message. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say. You're the wise one here embodying this strength. So definitely feel the gratitude pouring around you and feel your inner strength and be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for this victory because I can feel the contrast has been very deep for you and I just want you to know how amazing and appreciated you are for your wisdom. The wisdom is so valuable, so needed in this world. We need leaders who understand the wisdom and the energies and the behaviors of who we are. So expect a lot of financial abundance pouring into your life so that you can continue your life's mission and your life's work and just know how much we love and support you for it, okay? So with that, continue taking very good care of yourselves and I'll see you all for the next pick a card. All my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number two. How are all of you beautiful heart and souls? Thank you all so much for tuning in. So let's see what abundant love is in store for you. Okay. We have the moon and the page of pentacles. There is some beautiful energy that is bubbling up from your unconscious world, your unconscious reality into the physical. It's something here that's going to be very prosperous when it comes to your finances. I see you and feel you receiving some very beautiful ideas that support your financial um, future. These are ideas that are very divinely guided and you love them. Like this is something you're going to love doing. And I feel like this is something that's been within you for a very long time. You may be discovering new spiritual gifts that you have, new talents, new um, abilities that have, they're truly not new. They've been with you. It's like something you felt for your whole life. And they're now truly 
being revealed to you in some very um, magical ways, okay? I feel like you're receiving ideas, <clears throat> inspiration, insight that feel very solid and grounded, that feel like you can work with your finances, improve your financial income, and really support your well-being in the process, like your heart, your spirit, your soul. It allows you to really tap into the magic of yourself without feeling like you have to reveal it all. <clears throat> it's really, really beautiful. We have a change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcome you desire, okay? So you're really being encouraged to grow. Grow and learn. Excuse me. <laughs> grow and learn. And these new ideas that you're receiving... They're very much in tune with your internal nature. It's like the unconscious within you is, is feeling excited about being able to express. And through this process, it's going to refine you and, and guide you every step of the way and how to implement your ideas into the world. Because these are new ideas, right? You may not um, know what to do exactly. However, there is this abundance of love surrounding you, support, and it's coming from within you. It's coming from within you and in, in terms of like spiritual knowings and intuitions and different things that you've always felt interested in and maybe didn't have a lot of clarity around, but this is all like self-learning, self-growth. And there's a lot of resources out there for you it's like, I feel like the ideas are going to be affirmed for you in the physical reality, the more that you embrace your, your spiritual gifts. Okay. We have come out of the closet, Amaterasu, really seeing your own light and how your own light benefits, not only yourself, but the world. It's like your light is needed in the world to shine your light so bright. And I love the moon card here because it comes from the inside. It comes from, you know, what we would kind of view as like a darker realm or unseen realm, right? However, it's very light. Look at the full moon here. It's like, it's very light and bright. And yet the spotlight's not on you necessarily. Like, it's not like, making you feel uncomfortable. This is something you feel very comfortable with. You feel very excited to move forward and you can see how it improves your finances and how it improves your life and the lives of those around you. It's really beautiful. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So there are soulmates entering into your life that are very much connected to the forward growth and movement of whatever it is that you're tuned into. And you're really being encouraged to be your authentic self, to express your gifts and talents, to share your, your, um, you know, your interests and your likes and what excites you and what you're really excited to create in the physical world, whatever this is, it's something that's going to manifest physically for you that is with you. You know, you're supported for, for life. And this is something that can be with you for life. It's something you can always tune into that feels really good. And it's going to support you in a way that allows you to do it all the time. Okay. Psychometry, sensitivity, really here with the moon too, you're feeling your sensitivity, you're feeling your spiritual gifts, you're feeling in tune with the energies around you, you're feeling in tune with, you know, co-creating and connecting with others, especially the soulmate energy. There are people entering into your life that are going to feel like they've always been a part of you, very familiar, you know, lifelong friends that you just are like, oh my goodness, I get to work with these people and I get to co-create with these people and we're making money together and we get to enjoy experiences together. Um, I feel like this change in direction, whatever it is that you're sensing, you know, allow your intuition to continue affirming it for you. It, it's not something you have to think about so much as it will keep, um, you'll keep feeling it here with the sensitivity. You'll, you'll get these little knowings and hunches. And if you just kind of acknowledge them silently to yourself without making any plans about them, you'll know that it's right for you because it'll keep feeling like the more you kind of just acknowledge it and let it be. You'll feel, you'll feel yourself moving, like you'll feel better. You know, it's like if you're getting, for example, like if you were getting ready to move and you started packing up your house, you would feel the forward movement in it. So I kind of feel like this is, um, it's like kind of flipping things for you in a bit where, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's like the inside is coming out and it feels really good. It's not like anything to, to be worried about or concerned about. I feel like your ideas, whatever this is, this is something that we all feel internally like, yes, this is great. 
you're going to be affirmed. Like, I like this idea. I like what you're doing. And people are going to be like, I want to get in on this. So it's really important for you to get to know your own sensitivities before you, you know, it's like, don't rush into anything. See it as a everyday one step at a time process. Um, right now you're receiving the ideas. So there's not a lot you have to do physically in the world to make anything happen. It's more so allowing yourself to receive, especially with the moon card here and sensitivity. Receive the ideas, feel them. You know, how does this feel like to me first and foremost before you go, you know, talking about it in the external world? Because if you talk about ideas before you're really um, set in them, so to speak, before you know that they're authentic for you, and you hear other people's opinions, it could actually hurt your confidence in what you're doing. So allow yourself the joy, the integrity of keeping it to yourself for a little while. Allow yourself to receive. You know, if you notice that there's a, a shift in, you know, moving in a certain direction or, you know, learning about something, just learn it for yourself. Don't feel like you have to go talking about it. And that in itself allows you to come out of the closet, so to speak, in your own natural way when it's right for you, okay? Because I'm seeing the indecision card here. It's like, feel, you know, and it's a number eight. So it's a period in, of time in your life where you're really refining your strength, learning about your own inner strength, your own inner ability to make decisions that are right for you. So trust that you're always going to make the right choices for you. Trust that you know in your heart what's true for you and you know the ideas that you're receiving that are going to improve your life in so many ways, not just your finances, but your relationships, attracting soulmates into your life, being able to be seen for who you are without concern of or worry of what others think. And at the same time, it's helping you refine and, and learn about your own sensitivities, like feeling things, you know, I'm seeing this ring in his hand. It's very small, you know, it's very delicate and yet it's there's so much to this ring in his hand this could be you know the promise of a lifetime right it's like there's a there's a sacredness to this that you really need to be mindful of and aware of in, in the beginning especially as you're receiving the ideas remind yourself that this is sacred that it's meant to take your you know you're meant to take your time and focus on it on a daily basis in a way that doesn't feel like you have to go after it um if you're in a in a place where you can't make a decision, you know, where it's feeling like I'm not sure what to do, allow yourself to receive, you know, tell yourself, I don't have to make a decision about this right now. You know, it's not the time to make the decision because when the decision's ready to be made, you'll know what decision to make. If you don't know, allow yourself to be okay with that. Don't even acknowledge it. Just be like, well, it's not the right time. And then allow, you know, focus back on receiving, focus back on what you're feeling inside, um, what you're moving forward into learning. Like I would say, learn about some things, um, maybe see into how this could work for you in your life, getting out a journal, writing down like, okay, I have these ideas. This is my idea. Read it back. You know, how do I, how would I feel doing this on a daily basis? Is this something I enjoy? And then we get really excited about it and we want to make it all happen. Right? So it's just reminding yourself that nothing happens overnight and to remind yourself, like tell yourself, it's okay for me to take my time with this because it's divinely guided and it's not something that's meant to be rushed. It's something that's meant to be enjoyed. It's something that's meant to, you know, really affirm my own authenticity. And I just feel a lot of, um, there's so much happening here. So go slow and learn about your own sensitivity. Learn about it in your own natural ways. That's going to every day build confidence and you're just going to know what to do eventually. Okay. And that's why your soul, your spirit is, you, you may feel a little bit restricted right now. And that's actually to protect you from, you know, putting yourself out there in a way that doesn't feel good to you. Right. You want to you want to love yourself, love your reputation, love your personality, treat yourself as you would want someone else to treat you. I feel like that's what you're really learning right now. And I love this newborn willingness with the little cherubs here. It's like, you know, admitting to ourselves that we have these ideas and we know we can do all of these things. And yet we need to also be humble enough to learn and grow, to honor our own energy, our own personality, especially if you've been afraid to be seen for who you are you know, be mindful of that and love yourself and love, uh, you know, tell yourself it's okay for me to take my time. I honor myself. I honor my, 
my reputation. I honor my personality. I honor my sensitivity. I honor my spiritual gifts. And, you know, so it's like teaching you how to really prioritize your own life in a way that is truly beneficial, not just for yourself, but everyone involved. And with that, it's like, there's so much more that you'll be willing to open up to and feel comfortable sharing in your own time. When the time is right, you're attracting all of that into your life. Look at this adoration, love, grateful. You inspire my heart, my soul, my love. You fill my cup. You fill me up. I love you. You are great. You are wise. You are perfect. You light up my world and all you do forever in gratitude to see you, know you, love you. Keep being you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all you do. I love you forever and always. Adoration, love, grateful. And this is the image on the front of the card. This is from my new Oracle deck, Sacred Nature Reflections, inspired by all of you wonderful people. <laughs> this is this is a photograph of an image I took in the desert, and I just love it. It's you know I've re I've mirrored the image obviously, but it's there's so much into it. I know you can't see it all on the camera, but if you flip it this way, it even looks like it almost looks like Ganesh here you know, clearing out any obstacles for you. And I love that this came through as the desert because the desert, you know, it's that energy where we, we, we see like the, there's no trees. It's just very bare. And yet there's so much beauty within it, right? There's so much beauty within you. And when you start really seeing the beauty within you, you start seeing all the energies, the supportive, the creativity, all of it, it just begins flowing. So I love this. Know how appreciated that you are. We adore you. We love you. We're so grateful for you and your amazing talents and gifts and sensitivity. And, you know, spirit source is recognizing you and your sweetness and your love and your, you know, it's like you, you feel the love of humanity. And so we want to stay focused on the love of humanity. And, and at the same time, we, we understand like how projections can hurt us or hinder us. So you're, you're being, um, <laughs> it's like, it's through your pure heart, through your, uh, through your choice to, to be grateful and focus on adoring energies, right? Loving energies. And so you're being blessed right now with people that affirm your own authentic nature, your own sensitivity. I'm really feeling the soulmates energy, the soul connection, like you're feeling it on the inside. So keep nurturing it. Um, nurture the energies that really support your well-being, that really support your confidence, that really support your authenticity and go slow. Okay. Go very slow because when you're feeling very sensitive, it's like we don't always know exactly how we're going to respond to everything. So when you give yourself time, especially going within, if anything feels overwhelming or you just feel frustrated and you're like, I feel like I need to make a decision, but you can't, there's a reason for that. So honor that. That's your soul saying it's not the right time. Go within, focus on your gifts, your talents, learn more about your sensitivities, learn more about what feels good for you. Because when you feel good, you're naturally going to respond to things in the way that is integral for you, that's in alignment for you without question or worry or thought. And it's a process, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. It happens one day at a time and that's how it should be. Okay. So remind yourself if there's anything, you know, any thoughts or people or places or any energies that are making you feel like you have to do it right now, just remind yourself that's not true and take it with a grain of salt and keep staying focused on what you're doing. Allow, tell, Give yourself permission and say, you know what, I'm going slow with this because it's sacred, it's important to me and I want it to last a lifetime. You know, if you see something lasting a lifetime, like building a house, you're not going to just throw it all together. You're gonna to take your time. You know you're gonna be in that home forever. Take your time, do it right. Do what feels good for you and remind yourself that that's how, you know, if, if you're doing a good job, you want someone around you that's like, you're doing great, take your time, don't worry. You're doing awesome, you know? <laughs> you are great, you are wise, you are perfect. You light up my world in all you do. Forever in gratitude to see you know you, love you, okay? That's the most important thing, that you maintain your authenticity through it all, you know? Don't allow the finances and all that stuff to alter your own authentic nature, you know? Whatever is truly right is going to only enhance your nature. It's going to support your nature to grow and become everything that you truly are already, okay? And in full love and support, everything you're meant to become and be and do, it's all truly already within you, okay? So 
just focus on the love. Don't allow any fear to infiltrate, so to speak. You know, it's like there's that can happen when we're in indecision. So just trust yourself. You're going to make the right decisions when they're right for you. And when you feel restricted, say thank you to your soul because it's your soul that protects you and guides you. It's like they say rejection is God's protection or indecision or whatever it is because it prevents us from going down a path or entertaining thoughts that aren't really truly authentic for us. Um, Amater Amaterasu, her brother had to coax her out of the cave, you know, to say and, and put a mirror in front of her face to remind her how beautiful she was to get her out of the cave. She went into the cave because she felt like her light was hurting others, you know, that she was hurting others in some way and she didn't want to do that so she went inside even though her light is so bright you know and her brother had to coax her out of the cave by putting a mirror in her face to remind her how beautiful her light is and how powerful that is and what good that does in the world and how it inspires others and we're all this light you know we're all afraid on some level to be seen for who we are because we love each other and we don't like the feeling of being rejected or misaligned with you know we want to be authentic and aligned with what's right for us so just know that your soul your spirit your guides they're aligning you with what's right for you in a way that feels good for you and supports your income your finances which you know eliminates a lot of stress and worry in your life so adoration love gratitude grateful stay focused on that and you know follow your intuition right now with the moon energy the change in directions you know take your time getting to know people soulmates are going to feel familiar to you so you'll know right away and you know if, if you've attracted someone into your life that doesn't feel um, familiar or feels like they're trying to convince you to do something you don't want to do don't give it your energy too much just kind of you know being aware that it's there but stay focused on what is giving you energy stay focused on what is supporting your sensitivity your heart your soul stay focused on who is adoring you whoever's not adoring you just you know just don't even give it any thought if you can do your best to shift your focus onto who is and stay in stay internal in that affirmation you know your body is going to know with the sensitivity it's going to know and I just feel like there's so much love around you that you're going to feel the safety in that you're going to feel the difference there's something here about your sensitivity and it's really refining you right now so trust it and take your time and go slow okay I truly hope this message resonated with you and affirmed what you're feeling and know to be true um, you're amazing and sensitive. So stay amazing and sensitive and know that that is such a gift. It's such a gift to this world and you are so supported and you will only feel stronger in that sensitivity every single day. Thank you so much for being such a beautiful light and gentle soul. And yet, you know, you've got such a um, powerful, you've got some powerful ideas in here that are really feeling strong and stable in your life. So keep up with those, you know, Allow yourself to move with them, whatever that means to you. And the people that you need in your life, they need you too. And it's I just feel this partnership here that is so supportive that you're, you, there won't be any more um, feelings of indecision, okay? So that is your message. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. I truly appreciate your support. And... I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. Take very good care of your beautiful, sensitive self. And thank you for everything that you are. I truly adore you, appreciate you, and I'm very, very grateful for you. So take good care of yourself. I'll see you next time. All my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number three. How are all of you, beautiful heart and souls? Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So let's see what abundant love is in store for you, shall we? We have justice, four of swords. We have the ocean, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desired effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean, allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns, okay? Ooh, let it go. Oh my goodness, Quan Yin. I'm feeling this energy right away of balance, fairness, justice, whatever um, has been, I want to say, plaguing you lately. <laughs> 
there is an ease here, a piece of reassurance of you being able to let go of the past, whatever is happening, and know that justice is on your side, balance is with you. You are aligned to balance, fairness, justice, equality. Um, there's something here about really allowing yourself to meditate, to go within. There's this swords energy of, of what I'm feeling is this is rooted in past negative thoughts and maybe projections on you that weren't true to who you are. Um, I'm feeling this very um, beautiful feminine energy here that's really wanting you to receive the love of the feminine energy, receive the nurturing qualities um, for your heart, whatever sort of difficulties when it comes to your heart that have been, you know, causing you maybe sleepless nights or something like that, where you just feel like you need to meditate all the time and really go within. And um, there's so much justice here for you to maintain your integrity. When you stay true to your authenticity, when you allow yourself to let go of things that are no longer serving you, thoughts that are no longer serving you, situations, and be at peace with it and know that it's the universe, your soul, that's, you know, essentially removing whatever needs to be, whatever needs to go from your energetic field, from your reality, for you to feel balanced and at peace. I feel like there's an energy here that wants, that's just like loving you and holding you and supporting you in such beautiful ways, encouraging you to nurture your body, you know, your body, your mind. I love this, the ocean. It's like breathing in the ocean air, the ions, the salt, um, seeing, you know, how big the ocean is and feeling the peace of just being able to enjoy it and sit there and receive the life force energies that are, you know, connected to that in a way that's so peaceful, so tranquil, like meditating, you know, it's like there's, there's more to life than meditating, right? So I just feel like there's an energy of justice here that you need to know that justice is on your side and whatever has been, concern, been concerning you, that all is going to work out in your favor, okay? Because you're someone who believes in equality, you believe in fairness, and you know that what you, you know, put out there comes back to you. So I'm seeing this as like whatever serious situations that you've been in, it's like there's an ease, there's a releasing where you can be more in your authentic, lighthearted self and not feel so, so bogged down by everything, okay? We have engagement ring here. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, tarot, guidance from Divination of the Ancients. We have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Okay, this is the heart chakra here. And I love that it's Raphael. It's the communication. It's being able to communicate from your heart, your soul. And with the green and pink energies here of nurturing, I'm feeling the feminine energy really surrounding you right now. However, that resonates for you. It's like there's a softness and a strength to it. It's like being firm and fair. It's like I'm a nurturing, loving person. However, <laughs> this in this energy and situation, you're bringing out the uh, more serious side of me that I would like to not be engaged with all the time You're making me go meditate all the time <laughs> i feel like the the tarot community like tuning into these messages is really helping you affirm your own intuition your own knowing without making yourself go crazy um and i feel your heart really opening up in such beautiful ways and i love that it's you know the engagement ring here even the green there's something here about the green and the pink and the love and really engaging there could be someone that you want to propose to, or you're proposing to someone, but I feel like this is also, you know, deeper than that. It's like engaging with your own life, you know, in such a way that, you know, you only want to engage with those things that are, that bring out the best in you, that nurture you, nurture the qualities of who you are. You don't want to be dealing with, you know, having to be fair and set the rules and all this stuff. You already live that way. Okay. Look at this courage, roar, beautiful. Like a flower of life, so are you. Too many times you have been told nothing new. However, today it is all you. Standing or sitting right here. A beautiful life reflection staring back at me. A, fl a life flower filled with liony love just for you. Roar. So pretty I could kiss you. Never want to miss you. Stare at you in awe. Roar. Roar, beautiful lion heart, so pure and true, like this flower of life created just for you. You are beautiful. Courage, roar, beautiful. And look at this is the image on the front. It's it looks like a lion, I suppose, with like the the enlightened, you know, flame of the 
almighty universal infinite energy of light and rainbows <laughs> and magic. This is actually an image of a rock with moss that you know I've reflected in a mirror here. This is from my new my new oracle deck, Sacred Nature Reflections, and I feel like this is you know representative of your own nature, our own human nature, right? You're this beautiful lion filled with so much inspiration and courage and love, and yet you don't want to go around roaring all the time, like in, you know, having to be firm and fair. Like this is about you really being able to enjoy your playful, strong-hearted, beautiful nature, and it's all rooted in joy instead of the opposite, <laughs> okay? And I love that it speaks to the flower of life because it's like seeing yourself in the center here with the heart and knowing that as you're able to open your heart completely and freely without restriction, it's like everything that your heart energy touches transforms, you know, transforms the energy and it creates this peace around you where you're not, you know, you're able to be fully present in your physical life, in your physical reality not so much in your head. It's like, I feel like there's this longing for you to be really present in your reality and enjoying it and not having to question anything or set the rules or do any of that. Like you've already defined your rules. You've already defined, you know, what it is that you want to experience in life. And also here with tarot, you may be interested in tarot. You may be interested in starting your own channel or doing readings for others. Maybe you've been doing readings for yourself. So there's a learning process here that you've You've learned and gained experience in affirming your own intuition, your own knowing, what you know to be true. And there's, you know, a consciousness here of sovereignty and being self-sufficient and reliable on your own self and your own heart. And it's like you are justice. You are someone who understands you reap what you sow. And, and you may have been the example for that and others in your life where you feel like you could, you know, why can't they be the example too? <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like through this process, you've really learned a lot and you're attracting such a beautiful resonant energy into your life. And I just feel like this sense of ease where it's like, it's like when you, it's like someone who's working hard every day and they never have a day off and all they dream about is going on vacation. If they could just be on vacation and relaxing and, you know, be in their relaxed state without all the worries. Like this is the kind of energy where no matter what you're doing, it's like, feels like you're on vacation all the time, even though, you know, you're not, you know, you're this beautiful lion and you want to play when you want to play, you want to focus and get work done when you do it. And yet you're, it's like the angel, Archangel Raphael. There's such a power here to being rooted in your heart. It's like it shows you your strengths. It shows you, you know, your warrior spirit, your brave heart, and being able to focus out in a way that is so beneficial for you. Okay, so follow your intuition, follow your dreams, your heart. Um, the tarot guidance I'm feeling like is really benefiting you in a lot of ways. You know what to tune into. You know what's right for you. You take what resonates. You leave the rest. Um, you understand the energetic templates of life. And so allow yourself right now to really receive the nurturing qualities of the feminine um, in your own personal ways. You know, it's not something you have to actually think about or look up or research like it's just being in your body it's like I'm gonna go to the, the coast today and sit and do what I want to and I'm you know letting go it's like you're receiving um you're receiving a lot of into intuitive knowings and that's coming from your ability to open your heart and being open to the balance the the balance of life and um the seen and the unseen and you know your goals your aspirations whatever's motivating you and also being in tune with the inner worlds the the heart and soul of humanity and what others are going through not taking things personal instead um being grateful for the person the persons in your life you know your own personality attracting what is true for you and i'm just seeing this engagement ring here i'm seeing a very special person in your life I, I, I can't feel right now if it's somebody you want to be engaged to or they want to be engaged to you. Either way, whoever's watching this, there is definitely someone that you feel very, very grateful to have in your life. And so, you know, remember that, you know, I see you doing all of the right things and affirming the right things for yourself and just staying rooted in that knowing and that trust. And it's like, 
it's like through your experiences, you can see yourself as your own archangel and really, um, it's like you've learned how to refine your communication even through meditation and through any thoughts that are not true for you or that just feel restrictive or, you know, you know that they're dead ends. Like we don't entertain those thoughts because, you know, you're justice, you understand. And so I just, I feel, I feel this release of being in your head and really being able to be in your body, your soul, your spirit, and still be the wonderful, amazing, courageous lion that you are. So roar. <laughs> roar and roar for from your heart to roar in love so pure and true okay you are beautiful i'm so grateful for you i truly hope this message resonated for you and just brought you the affirmation the guidance moving forward that supports your life that supports your well-being your creativity your gifts your talents and thank you for all that you do because i can feel that you're someone you know, where your wisdom is really appreciated by others. So thank you for all that you give and share through your voice, through your heart, through your talents and your firm, your firmness, your fairness and firmness. I really appreciate you for that. The ocean, the ocean energies do too. I just feel like the, the world, the earth wants to like say thank you. <laughs> and the souls, you know, the humanity wants to say thank you and really be engaged with you. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in. I am so appreciative of you. And I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. Until then, just keep doing what you do. You're doing amazing. And um, take very good care of yourselves, okay? Nurture yourselves. And I'll see you all again very soon for the next Pick a Card. All my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number four. How are all of you beautiful heart and souls? Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's see what abundant love is in store for you. Oh my goodness. Eight of wands. Prepare to receive some beautiful inspired communication. Okay. I can feel, I can feel this right away. Inspired communication on its way to you. It's like, Whoa, there's a lot coming through for you here. Okay. The fool you're being asked to trust yourself. I feel like this is something so new here. We have trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea from the angels, okay? You're, you have so much um, angelic support around you right now. <clears throat> your, your own soul spirit guide, your angels, whatever ideas you're receiving, communication you're receiving right now, very inspired and you're really being asked to take a leap of faith on this to trust yourself to trust the ideas that you're receiving that are flowing to you you know as they flow to you this inspiration this passion is there's there's a you know there's a desire to express it right so whatever you're receiving right now know that it's like there's it's 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 inspired communication it's so beautiful okay so this has to do here with energy healing Merlin. Okay. I, I feel like there's a, um, it's like, it's like being a student and learning something new and not getting too carried away and acting like, you know, it's like going to solve everything overnight. Like this is very sacred energy. So you're going to feel it very powerfully. So allow yourself to go slow and uh, maintain your integrity through it all. Like be very mindful about what you're sharing, the information you're receiving, be mindful about what you're, what the output is. Okay. Cause there's a lot of people out there who don't understand all of the spiritual stuff and the, you know, all of the spiritual guidance and how you're receiving these amazing ideas. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like this is for you to understand like your own, um, ability to like how you impact the world or impress the world or how you communicate with the world. I feel like you're being guided right now here to really focus on seeing yourself as an energy healer. You may have been going through some time healing your own energy here with coffin endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition, fire, spontaneity. Ooh, man holding a heart. <laughs> There is a lot of passion here. I can feel the passion and energy. And I just want to say it is so beautiful and so lovely. And at the same time, you need to be really mindful of this energy because it can sometimes it can sometimes feel so good that we get overexcited about it and then we kind of lose our focus. So I feel like there's an important energy here that 
your soul wants you to just be very mindful of everything you've been through. There's something here about the past endings bringing new beginnings and you've learned how to really get in touch with your own ability to heal energy with it, with healing your own energy through whatever you've been through. Um, there's something here with fire. You may work with the fire element more so than others around you, especially as you're receiving this inspired communication. So it's like learning about fire, learning about the energy of spontaneity and, and being able to act on your inspired ideas versus just like being overly excited about something. There is an energy here of being overly excited. Um, it's okay to just calm yourself and be, <laughs> and be like, you know, taking it slowly one day at a time because these ideas aren't going anywhere. They're with you for life. They're with you as long as you want them with you. Okay. These ideas are never going to stop flowing. And I feel like there's a lot of um, very inspired, positive communication here especially with this man holding a heart. You may have met someone new. You may be this man holding a heart. So there's a lot of love here for someone else in your life, or there's a lot of love for you from someone else. And it's, it's truly affirming that you're on the right path. It's truly affirming that this energy, this quality of love, of passion, of inspiration is so suited for you. And it's meant just for you. And you know that this guidance that you're receiving is so divine, it's so sacred, it's supporting you moving forward. Um, you're really being encouraged to learn more about energy healing. Here with the Merlin, it's like the magician energy, learning how you manifest the unseen into the seen reality, okay? And look at this, we've got, <laughs> this is the Sacred Nature's Oracle card. Um, let's see, the poem on the back is, universe loves you yes it does uh-huh yeah yes yes yeah uh-huh it does <laughs> always and forever love is the juice love is the force love is the yeah uh-huh love is the pure and true just like you yeah uh-huh uh-huh yeah <laughs> uh-huh universe yeah and this is how i interpret the universe like uh-huh yeah you got it uh-huh yeah yeah <laughs> so it's like when you feel that energy of like pure inspiration and yet there's such a calmness to it, like a, a nonchalantness to it, like singing a song like, ooh, yeah, you know, it's like, you know that that's the pure life force energy. It's so simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't need to be, you know, crazy. Like the passion that you feel allows you to be more calm and grounded and just kind of like going with the flow. And, you know, it's like, yep, I know, I know. And you just keep going, right? It's so beautiful. So you're really being encouraged to embrace this energy of the fool, which is taking a leap of faith with the universe, not so much like jumping off a cliff or anything like that. Like, I feel like this is such an inspired energy that you're, you're being reminded to go slow. You're being reminded to, you know, be grateful for it every second of the day in the most beautiful ways and just express yourself naturally, you know, allow yourself to maintain your authenticity, doing what you do every day and just allow the energy to grow naturally with you. You know, it's like going out and taking a picture of something because you love it naturally and sharing it. Um, I feel this energy of spontaneity, like you're going to feel spontaneous in certain areas of your life that are just very natural to you. Um, it's like there, there's a, um, a freedom here that you're feeling that you haven't felt in a long time and it's there's no weight to it. Like it just feels so light and beautiful and yet the passion is so deep within you, okay? So man holding a heart. I feel this is, um, I feel it both ways. You know, if you're a man, there is definitely someone that you have your eye on. And I feel like you're together in terms of, you know, healing energies and being light workers and, and inspirers in the world. Like you're very inspirational. You're learning how to communicate through your inspired energy and this energy of coffin here, I really feel, look at that, was upside down. It's almost like your world's being flipped upside down. It's like you're, maybe you've gone through a dark period of time where you felt more isolated, very internal, and like this fire, this passion has ignited you in ways that you want to get out in, in life. You want to get out and do things in life. Like you're feeling more spontaneous. You're feeling like you know, more confident in your ability to work with energies. And maybe you may be wanting to learn more about energy healing and it's just excited you in a way that feels natural for you in a way that feels beneficial for you and those that you're communicating with. It's like, you feel like you're really helping and you're really inspiring. 
And it really is, you know, it's resulting from your own experiences and losing, learning to, <laughs> learning not to lose. Oh my gosh. Learning to see life beyond duality. You know, you are authenticity, your pure source energy. Okay. There is no win or lose. It's all, it's all success in life. Okay. And it's like, I feel like this guidance that you're receiving is resulted from your willingness to connect with the sacred soul inside of you to connect with the true voice of life force within you which is your soul which is your heart and you may feel like this is all so new and yet it's so it feels so natural okay so just know that you're not going to know everything as it, you're going to know it as you need to know it it's like letting go of the idea that you need to know everything and just trust that you're going to know everything you need in the moment it allows you to live present in the moment it allows you to be present and to enjoy the present moment um i feel i feel this relationship here is very beautiful okay there's someone here who adores you like the universe, like, uh-huh, <laughs> always and forever, like, like this is a part of what's igniting your soul and your heart, and it's because you've opened up to passion and inspiration and creativity and choosing to live your life fully, you know, no longer feeling like you have to be in a coffin. It's almost like I'm seeing Dracula or, like, <laughs> vampires, you know, it's like living half alive your whole life, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, my goodness like I've decided to live my life fully and like now all of this inspiration is coming in and it helps you see how you manifest and create your own reality and how you have power and control over what it is you want to experience in life and truly it's like letting go of power and control and just allowing the soul to flow allowing the inspiration to flow okay so communication inspired communication expect to be receiving that and expressing it in whatever way is right for you um Fire spontaneity. I kind of want to see if there's, I'm going to look in the book here really quick. I feel like there's something in here. Let me just see. This is from Divination of the Ancients. Yep. It says, don't hold back. Don't hold back. The fire card tells you to scream and shout and let it all out. <laughs> this is not the time or the situation to hide what you feel. Say it as it is. Speak your truth. Stand up and be counted says for too long now you've rolled over and kept quiet you may think that this is the proper way to behave but it has in fact been restricting you your feelings have been quashed along with new ventures that have come your way it's time to release that inner fire and abandon inhibitions that have prevented you from living life to the full give yourself permission to say yes the moment you do a whole new world will open up and you will be able to step forward in a blaze of glory restrictions lifted i am free to live the life that's meant for me Boldly, I now seize each day as opportunity comes my way. Okay, so the inspired communication that you feel, it's like, yes, speak your truth, speak your voice, you know, honor yourself. This, this trustworthy guidance that you're receiving is coming from your own inner heart, soul, your angels, your guides, your team. You know, it's in alignment with the universe. The universe is like, uh-huh, yeah, keep it going, keep it going. This this inspired passion is real. And I feel like it's truly, you know, it's there's a mutual um, mirroring effect going on with you and another person. Whether you're the man or the woman, it doesn't matter. It's like there's this energy of back and forth inspiration and passion. You guys are fueling each other in such beautiful ways. And there's a lot of romance here. A lot of romance, a lot of fire and chemistry, okay? and it naturally just inspires you to be more authentic, be more truthful, be more you, completely you and expressing all the beauty that's you. And the universe is playful. The universe is our creative energy. You know, it's fun, it's humorous, it's lighthearted, it's passionate. It's a bit wild at times, but as long as we maintain our own, if we understand the energy, you know, we maintain our authenticity. There's nothing to worry about or fear. It's just about enjoying life and embracing this beautiful you know, leap of faith with your own soul, your own spirit, the universe. And I feel like this isn't even like jumping off a cliff. Like this is going to be like an easy walking trail where everything's just beautiful. And, you know, there's everything you need is with you. I'm just, I'm seeing this in, in like, um, it's almost like the inner and outer. Like we may feel like this on the inside, you know, like this novice, However, on the outside, it's like, you know, it's like seen in the most beautiful ways, okay? 
So definitely keep doing what you're doing. Allow yourself to continue receiving and expressing your truth. And thank you so much for acting on your inspired ideas and passions and chemistry. I really appreciate you for that, you know, supporting that, adding to that in the world, that, that, that energy of love that we all desire to just truly feel and experience on a daily basis. I'm very grateful to share these messages and know that you're out there and thank you for you. So I truly hope this message resonated and affirmed what you know to be true. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. I truly appreciate your support. It really helps my channel grow and reach all those beautiful souls out there who are wanting to receive these messages as well. <laughs> so thank you all. I look forward to the next message that comes through. And until then, keep taking care of yourself. Be your amazing, inspired lover. Awesome. So, so much passion and fire here. It's just so attractive. So love yourself, be yourself, and I'll see you very soon for the next pick a card. All my infinite love as always. Peace.